Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. I have my sister Louise today. Storm Catling is here. It's windy as hell. Let's see how the sheep are putting up with it. Got a pair here just after popping. Not get too close to her. Easy, easy, really easy. Pair of horn jaw lambs. Loving it. Ah, mum, come back. The presentation is all right though, so I might just give her. I can see feet popping out. I might just give her a couple of minutes and see if she, she'll push it out herself. But we'll be on train beyond the ball that if she doesn't get them out in the next five minutes, I'll just grab the gel. We'll pin her in. We'll get get them out. So there's only meant to be singles in this field. But this one appears to have two. Good lambs too, cheapers. I'm only after realising this pair here, she's scanned a single. Wondering what the story was. One of them lambs isn't hers, and the reason I know is because I was looking for my big lamb that I pulled last night. And that's him. And the reason I know it's him is because he's got blue spray in his navel and all underneath him, where I was spraying him. So, like that lamb is not hers. Like this, that's definitely not the old. I, I'm just struggling to remember what the old looked like. She definitely wasn't a white horn one like that. I'd say that's her lamb, but the back one isn't her lamb. She must have robbed it. Ugh. This is a great lamb. Anyway, there's a yoga going lamb in here, so we'll have to deal with this fella later. Yoles are on the mountain and got very little, like they're only heather and chrysalis is all they're getting. Good job, 
done. Let's try and get this lamb back to his mom. It's a bit of a mess here. Though. They're both lamb last night, they're both are singles but they can't seem to figure out which is which and a pity I couldn't figure out which is which Look at the moment it's looking like they both want that lamb and no one wants this poor lamb that I pulled last night They're just rejected I'll tell you what it might be partly my fault. I might have just overdone him on the spray. And I, you know, I sprayed him quite long because it was literally dark and I just wanted to make sure I got the navel and give him a good spray in. That blue spray is strong stuff. That might have actually put the sheep off as in gave him a real funny smell. Well, I was going to drive in and get the O and I just came in and lucky enough was able to do a loop and come right back out again. Unbelievable. This is a lovely dry field. You could, even if the weather was fairly wet, you could drive through this field. Look at it now. Maybe it's not too bad on the way in, but Jeepers, I got a fright there. I thought it was going to get bogged. These are fairly wet because this is a dry field. We're back with the two mums from hell again. And of course, they're fighting over this lamb and rejecting. He's in there somewhere. I can hear him. I might have to actually catch. Yeah. If I catch her and bring her out of here and close her out, and Louise could grab the lamb, maybe that'll work. She still mightn't take the lamb. She might still have to come home anyway. We've left one after us down there. Louise is coming out with the big lamb that we pulled last night. We managed to run her out here. I couldn't catch her, but we've ran her out here, so we might catch her out here. More than likely, the only solution is to bring one home. Like one yo, one lamb home, and maybe if, the, if she doesn't take it, then adopt it on. Because these two are happy enough here. But it's so we just need to get the other yo, one lamb happy. Like, ideally, we'll try and get her closer to the Jeep, but if we can't, I'll just catch her and pull her up. But we'll see if we can get them up a bit. Oh, oh. Lie down, right, Casey, come here. Come here. Let them up. Lie down, lie down, lie down. Lie down. This one here is getting a bit upset by the dog now. Hanging around her lamb. Have our sheep. Very important to grab the dog on the main road. Oh, oh easy, easy, Casey. Come here. And otherwise, you can't come. Your seat's taken. Yeah. It's okay. I accept. <laughs> How are you going on, mate? More drama with you. Pulled you out last night, I thought that was the end of it. I wouldn't see you till the tailing. But no. Alright, let's get you home. Get your feed. Well, the storm is well and truly upon us now. Oh, Kathleen. That is absolutely terrible. So, Kathleen is upon us. Oh. Wind and rain. It was terrible there it's kind of it's lulled a wee bit but it's probably gonna come back again we have this yo here the yo and the lamb yo tied by the head 
It was Dad's idea because actually the shed at the house is getting pretty full, so he reckons the mobile adoption unit. <laughs> and I like this trailer. She's in this trailer, but this this is a good wee trailer, so I'm bringing her with me. I still have a compartment here if I need to bring home another sheep, but he reckons she might have taken the lamb by the time I get home this evening. So we'll see how we go. Right, terrible weather, but I better get out and look at these sheep. All I can say is a good thing GoPro cameras are waterproof. the hedge with her but at least she's out. Sit down Casey. So she was tied in the trailer for a few hours there and we've her out of the trailer now hoping that she'll take. Just hard to fully know. He's definitely sucking her in here. He's definitely sucking her in here. Which is good. Casey, come here. Casey. Casey, Casey, come here. Here, come back, come on, come on. Just to make sure that she's fully taken. Sometimes the dog may help to get a if we're trying to adopt or trying to make sure her sheep is taken, just to engage her mothering instincts when they see the predator. Our natural instinct is to protect our young. These girls seem to be holding up alright during Storm Kathleen. Still quite windy now, but the rain has stopped in here. It's actually sunny. Lambs, lambs, lambs. Doesn't seem to be much bother on them. It's great. You were right, mate. I think you're the fella I pulled this morning. Leave up a wee butt of horns. Happy enough. <laughs> nice then. Okay, I'm back to it. So evening checks. Sorry about the wind guys. I can't find my microphone. Um, yeah, I'm not sure it could be it's in the Jeep somewhere or somewhere and I'll, I'll hopefully find it this evening. I'm over here to you. Where you got stuck. You're not going to be able to get much milk in there, mate. You <sighs> jumped in the scruff. Head has been caught. Great lamb. Healthy lamb, he's a solid way thing, like you feel it. When you lift him, put it on weight. So he obviously wasn't in there for long, which is good. But um, yeah, good thing I called here because he would be lonesome looking in the morning if he was there overnight. So we'll see what the story is. Fast asleep, I'd say. Here. Took her a while to get up there, I wasn't sure for a minute. Don't think this one was lamb yesterday. Big old lamb too. Oh yeah. That's just last night. Why is he blit? Wonder if she got milk from. I wonder if she much milk at all, like. She hasn't a huge amount of milk, but she's enough for him, like. But he's just not really getting a whole pile. 
when he's sucking. I bring down the stomach tube and the syringe and I give him a tube of milk. Just to get him going. Like he is trying to suck, so um you know just milk her out, give him a good tube, she'll start coming to milk again, and maybe he'll work from there. massive two thirds of a tube is all I can get out of her it's not great really for a big lamb but yeah <laughs> he's doing more blatant after getting that but she's on a nice field of grass here but she should come to me she should come to... She should come... That'll do him for a start and I'll be around here this evening and if he's still blatant mad and she hasn't come to any milk then we'll just bring him home just bring them home and kind of keep him fed until she eventually comes like she should come to it Sean like there's it's a nice wee nice fresh field here but they're not these are only off the mountain for four or five days she just looks like she put it all into the lamb and she hasn't got much of milk now anyway plenty more spots to check so we'll keep moving outdoor lambing eh can't beat it. Oh. More sheep hiding in shelter. Nice lamb. You alright mate? Nah, he's dry. I'd say he was born yesterday probably. Good spot down here, anyway. Down in the rushes. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh, crap. Man, it's coming the right way, but she's just looking red and swollen. She is. Poor thing. She's not going to be hard caught. She's been trying to land for a while. Oh, come here. Dear Lord. Oh. Lord bless and save us. Come on, boy. What size is that lamb? He's a brute. A poor wee horn, Joe. Because they always look bigger when they've got this big swollen head on them, but. Oh, yeah. I don't know what the milk situation is. Bags of it. Bags of it. Plenty of it. They're actually starting to get a little bit big, them tits. So I'm back on the hill to have a look at my own sheep. I bought the Jeep and quad trailer down. Bit of a problem though. The old wheel's not looking too good. Oh, lovely. 
must have obviously happened at some point on the way down here. The only reason I actually noticed is because I went reverse in the back round and I spotted it in the mirror. Not ideal. But anyway, we'll take a look at the sheep. May as well just keep plowing on. I'm gonna have a bucket with me when I'm down. There's another spot down here at the bottom of the land by the river. Across this. <laughs> Way to get across the drain. I've seen better bridges. Oh. Far away from the river. Oh, would you look? A wee horned lamb. Oh, don't come away. Don't go away. Oh, sick. Oh, I'll leave the bucket here. young lamb too so definitely have to join her up join them up quick if I push this bunch up a bit hopefully the O will hear the lamb blatant and go and claim it meh there isn't even a O blatant out of this bunch like, looking for the lamb meh 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 Go on, get up there. Whichever one of you it is, and take your child back. Be a responsible parent. Get up here. They've generally gone in the right direction, the lambs in this direction, so hopefully the yoga just clicks into gear and gets her lamb. It was kind of my fault a bit, like if I wasn't here, that wouldn't have happened. But at the same time, you know, they need buckets. They need Chris Lex buckets, so. I have to come here and check them the other day. And you'll, you'll come back another day and save a lamb, like, or get a, get a yo with a dead lamb and get her for an adoption. So it is worth coming down. But sometimes when you're checking sheep during the lambing, you can often do more harm than good. You know, you can often, miss mothering can go on that would not have gone on if you weren't there, you know, because the sheep wouldn't have went to move away. She would have been happy enough where she was. So, it's a balance. I think we have her. It's a one horn one here. Well, she seems to be claiming it there, so. That's good. Try a few of these posts. Good thing to do when you're going along the mountain. Oh, jeepers. There's a couple. Three. Three. One, two, three, four posts gone. But I actually saw, there's actually two posts back here that were lying. Not sure if I put them there or not. They were put there with the best of intentions, but never used. <laughs> like, normally for fencing, the winter time's the time to do it because that's when it gets a bit quieter on the farm. You know, your lambs are sold and the rams are out and you're wintering your sheep and there's, it's not too bad, you know, but of course I had a trip away, so I miss the winter. So I'm gonna have to try and do a bit of it in the springtime. But uh, no worries, we'll get it, we'll get it done. So I'm here with my good mate, Jason Comiskey. And the only way, he hasn't seen me since I went away to Australia. And the only way we can bond and have a bit of crack because I'm that busy at the moment is he's literally come lambing with me. So we're having a bit of bother getting this off. It keeps spinning around on us. And the way we figured out we're going to change the tyre. What's the way, Jason? <laughs> Took off the whole axle. <laughs> oh. Cowboy setup. <laughs> Wait, huh? <laughs> Watch your head in here. <laughs> so Jason's a mate of mine locally and he's got a good Charlie flock, Dune Kelly Charlies. I'll put a wee link on Facebook below, you should give it a wee follow. How are you getting on Jason? 
Not too bad, no. Jason says he's a good Sheep Shepherd fan too. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're gonna do the evening checks. Jason will come along with us. He's used to lambing inside. So I don't know, he won't know what to make of our setup. Wind and rain and sheep diving for shelter, but we'll see how we get on. So the checks continue and we're not really having to do much. We're just kind of going around looking at them, spitting them out. It's great, really. Yeah, like, that's this outdoor lamb is handy. <laughs> Here's another one now. Just out of the oven. And a lovely evening to lamb into. The wind has died down a bit, which is good. So this is the girl that we that I caught this morning to chew. So it'll be interesting to see now how the lamb is looking. He was hungry looking this morning, doing a bit of blatant. Didn't really look happy. We gave him a bit of a tube and I was just hoping with a good day that she'll come to milk and she'll be all right. We'll see, we'll go over and have a look and see what the crack is here. Nice lamb, actually. It's mad. He's not blatant. I no, see he's a, huh? He's full belly. He's sound, yeah. I'd say he's working her. No loss no. Yeah. All right, the master sheep man reckons. Chance her. No loss. So I think we'll chance her. <laughs> So we're out now looking at different sheep. Jason showed me a couple of sheep that he has close enough to one of our fields there that we just looked at. We'll get a look at these. So these are New Zealand Suffolk lambs. Yeah. Yeah. And you but think they're a great job? Best thing we ever bought. Yeah. We bought two hogger rams last year. Yeah. Very happy. I think I'd be interested to try some. And where did you get them? Or is it, would there be much uh, breeders around? It was a man on leash. Yeah. It was actually at the Plowing Championship, so we bought them. Very good. We bought the two that was in the pen at the Yeah. yeah. But interest to see, has anyone tried New Zealand Suffolks? Maybe you can say in the comments. Do much people have them or what do you think of them? Let us know in the comments. They're lovely lambs too. Like they're not like, they don't look to be plain lambs are they? They're nice. Yeah. yeah. The mule will be putting a bit of length in them as well. Bro. Yeah, that'll be a help. Yeah. Because they'll be, they'll be a bit smaller than a normal Suffolk, like. We don't not, think a, that small, not a huge amount smaller. Heads, really. Yeah. Not probably their legs not really thick. A smaller head would leave a probably bit nicer yo lamb. Yeah, very nice sharp yeah. head for And easier yeah. lamb as yeah. well. Yeah. Rather than having a big head. We had to take damn all lambs this year. Yeah. Very happy. That's great. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. Definitely for an outdoor setup like what we have. Yeah. yeah. We're heading back to the Jeep now, but what did I do when I find a good hunk of an ivy branch down? So I said I'd bring it back with me for the sheep in the shed. Dad, I'd be delighted. Be like Christmas. <laughs> Give us a hand, will you? Make yourself useful. No. Yeah. I don't want. Are you afraid you're committing a crime or something? They're getting a Christmas tree in the forest. But <laughs> <laughs> that's some job. That would feed the sheep in the shed for days. <laughs> Who wants a bag of nuts? Just get an idea. Another lamb just out of the oven. No, they're all lamb and safe the one evening you're here. I'm it's a pity, I want to get a bit of work out of you. <laughs> Go you fairy fort in here. The one in here looks like there's a bit of action. A bit of action going on. What are you doing, missus? Have you a lamb or are you going lambing? Chilling. Just chilling out. Very light looking. Is it, yeah. Doesn't look to be that heavy anymore. I didn't think she'd have a... Yeah. She is, you think she's going to be late, isn't you? She's not that heavy looking, is she? No, no, no. What's up, guys? So, with all the crack we have and Jason were having, I never even filmed an outro to that video. I'm up here in the sister's room now, finishing off the video. I know I've been an absolute disaster. I haven't been replying to any comments in the last few days. I need to sit down for an hour or two, really, and just reply to them all. It's so, I, I read them all. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. Thanks a million for the support. I read them all and you're such so kind and such nice words it means a lot and it really helps motivate me to keep putting out videos i figure with time being short for lamb and i figured the best two things to focus on are getting the sheep lamb safely and just getting videos out for you guys to enjoy replying to comments while i do like to keep on top of it and it's annoying me now that there's so many and i haven't been replying to them i will get back to them but it might just be a, a bit later and a wee bit delayed but i read them all thanks a million guys thanks for watching see you for the next one